The third C, conflict management. You see, if we want unity, we have to understand how to communicate, how to have convictions, because people want you to stand for something, and then how to resolve conflict. Dr. William Urey is a very famous, uh, he was the head of the Harvard School of Reconciliation. He has worked with dictators, with kings, with presidents. He has worked to try to bring unity between nations. He has tried to bring unity within families, the Harvard School of Reconciliation. And he makes a major statement. He says, in conflict management, the biggest problem is not the other person. The biggest problem is not even the issue that you're discussing. The biggest problem is you. Yeah, you may have your convictions, but it's how you're handling it. It's the emotions that you have in the middle of all of this. Are you willing to listen to one another? You know, in Chinese, the word is a very picturesque language. And the word listen, let me describe the, the old-fashioned way of writing the word listen because they've, uh, they've done some shorthand lately. But, but the old-fashioned word for listen, on the left-hand side of the word, you have the ear is king. God made you with two ears and one mouth, right? The ear is king. So that when you're listening to somebody, you're not listening to a hundred different voices. Your eyes aren't going all over the place. You are listening to that person. Then on the other side of the word, you have total focus. Total focus on that person. And then on the bottom half, third of this thing, you have one heart. With one heart, total focus, you are listening to the other person. My friend, people know you cannot agree with them on everything. But they need to know you have heard what they have said. Somebody say amen. Everybody deserves to be heard. Everybody deserves to have, have heard, heard. And Dr. William Urey says this. He says, when we have truly listened, we have solved half of our conflicts already. Even without resolving the problem, you've already resolved many, many problems. When we learn to listen to one another, we learn how to handle conflict within our own families and within our own companies and corporations and businesses.